Antarctica is so cold its ice is up to two and a half miles thick and so vast and white that it cools the whole planet by reflecting sunlight. But scientists have warned it's now losing ice so fast it could flip from being the Earth's refrigerator to the Earth's radiator. It's midwinter in Antarctica and satellite images show in white here a little over five and a half million square miles of sea surrounding the continent have frozen over. But compare that to the red line, the long-term average, and there is a gap. Right now, there's something like 900,000 square miles of missing sea ice. It's been at a record low all year. By the end of the Antarctic summer in March, it had shrunk back further than in previous years, and it's been falling further behind as the months go by. That's partly because of higher ocean temperatures, but also warmer air. This is one day last March. You can just about make out the edge of Antarctica. And those red colours show temperatures that were 38.5 degrees above normal. The planet's most extreme heat wave on record on its coldest continent. Why does this matter? Well, the melting ice on land is driving up global sea levels. Since the 1990s, they've risen by 1.8 centimetres because of melting ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica. By the end of the century, the accelerating thaw will have added another 17 centimetres, putting an extra 16 million people around the world at risk of annual coastal flooding. If we don't, get to net zero by mid-century. The sorts of things that we're starting to see in Antarctica now will probably pale to ins insignificance for the future things that might happen in the future. So we're really concerned that what we're seeing now is a start of, of many worse um, uh, things to happen in Antarctica. And that would be a tragedy both for the continent but for the rest of the planet. Antarctica has been shielded from global warming until recently by a strong vortex of winds spinning high in the atmosphere but that doesn't seem to be enough to protect the ice anymore. Thomas Moore, Sky News.